Water flows directly into the single compound meter housing. If the water is flowing through the meter in a high flow condition, the pressure differential causes the spring-loaded valve assembly to open. It flows past the straightening vanes at the entrance to the measuring element, helping to condition the water flow. As the water flows into the element, it comes in contact with the rotor, which lifts into its floating position and begins to spin. A right-angle worm gear couples the rotor to a vertical spindle, which in turn drives a gear set that rotates a coupled magnet on the wet side of the meter. The rotor's revolutions are therefore transmitted via this coupling through the cover plate to the register. Finally, the water flows into the downstream side of the meter's housing, where the valve assembly resides. The water then exits through the outlet. It's important to note that in a high flow condition, a portion of the water still flows through the disc chamber before exiting the meter. To see how a disc meter operates, select Disc Meter.